I'm losing my damn mind, dude. How is how is this? This is not a controversial statement. This right here is the absolute pinnacle of gold camo. Point blank, period. And that's on God, baby girl. Maybe not the most realistic, because quite honestly, this game looks um, a little cartoony, okay? So this is the game that came after Modern Warfare 2, which was one of the most groundbreaking games in the entire Call of Duty franchise. One, because of gameplay-wise and, and whatnot, I won't get into that. But two, because of graphically-wise. The, the jump from Call of Duty 4 to World at War wasn't really you know, that great. But the jump from World at War to Modern Warfare 2 was insane. So Treyarch had a lot of work put on their shoulders. And a lot of people said that the graphics in this game weren't as nice in Modern War as Modern Warfare 2. But I still stand by this gold camo to this day. I think it looks absolutely fucking beautiful. Enough of the backstory. Let me explain why this camo is actually so beautiful. What we miss from a lot of gold camos is the actual like metallic feeling of this. And I'll go into this really later in the video and show you exactly what I'm talking about. You can see at the at the bottom, uh, the kind of like the bottom middle of this gun, if I slowly rotate it around, you get the red. I don't know, where is that red coming from? Do you see that? It looks like the boss. I, I don't know, it's weird, but no, no you don't really notice it in-game, but it, it's just that little slight, slight little touch that, that just sets it, sets it above a little bit. This camo blows. How is, how is this, this is not a controversial statement. Have you guys ever seen that video where uh, it's the dudes, there's just like three dudes sitting around on the couch over there, right? And then they, they have a World War II, Call of Duty World War II, and it's the two guys just sitting over there and they're like, <gasps> and they're like, <gasps> no, no, okay, it's just me. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna remake it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remake it. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, so anyways, uh, recently I was uh, featured on the Carnage YouTube channel because uh, I have gold camo on one of my guns. I'm out of breath from doing that skit. <clears throat> anyways, um, I got kind of flamed in the comment section because of this stupid opinion that's that's totally correct. It, opinions can't even be correct, but this one this one's definitely correct. I said that the gold camo looks like ass in this game. Okay, and, and people were flaming me in the comment section, and I just don't, I can't comprehend it. We're gonna have to take a second out of the video here because I didn't realize that I got absolutely fucking flamed in the comments of that video. Mean comment reading? I, I think, I think it's the only thing that we can do. Um, so I'd like to point out that this video has 200,000 views on it, so, um... There was a lot of eyes on me that I that I wasn't expecting. I didn't I didn't think that I was gonna ruffle this many feathers. But uh, I guess I guess we'll, we'll we'll just get into it. The the top comment the the top comment on the video. There is no comment that is higher than this. Just says the guy at the end was so obnoxious. Wouldn't watch him outside of this video any day. <laughs> well, Stefan, I I'm, I'd like to issue my apology and maybe you can give me a chance in in the future because I'd really like you to be on the on the team wrench um she don't use that i didn't think that i was that obnoxious i I'll, I'll link the video in the description if you guys haven't seen it but i i feel like i was just kind of stating stating the obvious the camo is just not that cool i also appreciate that the three replies to this is is just people agreeing with it so my ego is just you won't have to worry about the ego anymore that's gone that's come through the fucking floor <laughs> jesus all the top comments are about me i like how soph t in the replies to this also just said for real bro that guy annoying um i don't i correct me if i'm wrong i don't think the first guy called me annoying he might think i'm annoying but i think you're a little i think your basis for that is all like a little off I think the common theme is that they just wanted me to use it on a better map with, with better lighting. Listen guys, the camo is the camo. The, if, if I have to play a specific map for it to look good, I'm not editing my goddamn classes every time I'm going into a match. I'm like, oh, I don't think, I don't think gold is actually going to look good on this map. Uh, the, the evening sky really just doesn't set a good tone with the, with the metallic texture. <laughs> Caillou over here just says, I was fine with the video until the last guy shows up. I, did I really, I don't, I feel like I didn't ruin the video, guys. 
Although I will say that the replies to this are the first time that I've ever been supported in this fucking comment section. Let me know who you guys are because I, I appreciate and respect you. And then Soph T is back with the same fucking comment that he left. This dude actually went to a separate comment to write the same comment. For real, bro, he's annoying. Dude, I don't know what, what you're doing. I, I, re I really ruffled that guy's feathers. And I think I can wrap it up there because if I go any longer, I'm gonna get really sad and really depressed. And Juice World's album already comes out tonight, so I I'm already gonna be really, really low. I think, I think I'm done for tonight. Here I am, the brightest map in the game. And guess what? It still looks like ass. It's like a saying, less is more, you know? It's like, yeah, cool, you can add all these squiggly lines, but if but if the actual gold looks like brass, we, we have a problem. And here's the best part. I'm gonna fucking fix it. Okay, so uh, watching it back, uh, my take on the on the camo isn't isn't really amazing, but I guess you guys can decide for yourself. Uh, let's just let, let's get into it. <clears throat> All right, we're in Blender. Blender is a 3D modeling software. If you didn't know, uh, I already did one take of this, and I explained like all the little nuances of of fucking game design and shit. It was really boring, so I'm redoing it now. I'm just gonna stick to kind of some of the basic stuff because uh, it can get very overbearing very quickly. This is not a, a very easy science or an easy art, not to flex at all because there's a lot of people way better than me. So it, it's, fuck this, I'm, I'm, let's get into it. So this is the actual MP5 from the game, something we were just we were just looking at, all right? So it's fresh in your mind and ish. So Blender is is a 3D modeling software, like I said. Uh, people use it mainly to make like Fortnite thumbnails, and uh, I make it to use my Call of Duty thumbnails. Regardless, you can do some pretty cool shit. So this is the MP5, and I'm gonna put gold camo on it the right way. I'm not gonna explain anything that's going on in the bottom half of the screen because that's gonna be way too complicated. The only thing that you need to know is this thing right here called base color. Look what we're gonna do, ready? Unhinge it, look, it looks like it's platinum now. Holy shit, that looks a million times better than the what's in the fucking game already. Boom, let's just go all out. Let's just go all out, why don't we, huh? Full, full gold, baby. That's 24 karat right there. But thing is, I wanna make it clear, total respect to all the game developers on Modern Warfare. Their shit looks absolutely crazy and, and awesome. But again, like I was saying, less is more. And you're gonna try and tell me that the fucking squiggly line mess that they made looks better than this? Get the fuck out of my face. Get out of my face. You can leave now. So this is the part of the video where I apologize for being so rude uh, in the video, but I'd also like to thank you for making it to the end of the video. Can we get some round of applause for everyone who did? Let's go. Anyways, the real reason that I'm putting this at the end of the video is because I wanted to thank everyone for finally hitting, holy shit, I hit my table, for finally hitting 1,000 subscribers. And now that I say that out loud, that sounds uh, pretty pathetic, but uh, it's a milestone for me. In honor of that, uh, I'd like to direct everyone to my Discord. Link will be in the description. Uh, I'm thinking about starting kind of a, a commentary channel. If you guys like doing those like uh, those old C-Nanners and Hutch commentary videos from like Modern Warfare 2, you know, where you'd have the, the really shitty gameplay in the background, but that's not the point. The point is to listen to me talk. Anyways, it's just kind of an outlet for me to kind of speak my mind and uh, also hopefully improve at just talking because I kind of suck at that. You, you, you notice all the cut, 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 cuts that I do? Uh, that one was creative. Anyways, maybe you guys can submit some questions in the future and maybe I'll, I'll do I'll do something like that. I don't want to upload it to the main channel though because uh, we got to keep the perfect streak of a video a month. That's just the motto on this channel. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. That's crazy. Um, I love you and uh, uh, stay safe, okay?